We were living in Japan in the 70s on military basis. We did two tours in Japan. And especially on the first tour, we did a, we, my mom and dad were teaching English off, off base, moonlighting, and to a Japanese businessman. And every once in a while we'd have time, you know, they'd take us out to dinner, you know, take the whole family out to dinner or whatever. And at one time, um, they invited us to stay at a resort for a week on the beach. And, um, and any, well, anyway, so we had a, we had opportunities to go out and, and like go to Japanese bathhouses, and that's kind of an interesting experience, you know, because you're a white white guy or a gaijin around all these Japanese, and and. As a teen, even as a teenager, I had a lot more hair than they did, you know. Plus, I'm a, I was always a big guy, big hairy guy, you know. And they were too polite and too nice to openly stare or, and everything. But you definitely felt the stares and felt, you know, they knew you were there and they were paying attention. So, but it was cool, you know, because I, I, I had... Learned the etiquette about how to act in a Japanese bathhouse. You know, what you do is you go up to the counter when you come in, and you pay your money, and a lot of times either an old mama son is at the counter or it's really a young Japanese girl. You pay them the money, and they give you a little tub with a lot of washcloth and soap, and then you go in the in the bathroom, in the bathhouse, and in front of the, by the hot tub, there's like these little spigots and stools. You just get down and you, what, what the thing is, you wash and rinse, you know, at these faucets. And you get in the hot tub to soak. So there's no soap or washcloth. You don't, you're not bathing in, t in the tub. You're just soaking it. And um, so as long as you do the etiquette, you know, do things right, everything's, you know, everything's cool. You know, and I'd soak and soak, and it would be so nice because you feel like a wet noodle, just totally relaxed and just after a hot tub, after a stint in a Japanese bathhouse, you're ready to sleep. It's just it's just a fun experience. And um, And, and, I, and I came to this story because I was thinking of trying to think of something to write because it's really hard to write all the time to come up with ideas to write for me. And and I wrote this story and and, and it was published in Illumination on Medium.com and it got quite a few comments and positive comments and all. it's one of my more popular stories which really surprised me. So that just goes to show, you know, just, just right, you know, and you never know what's going to take off and do and do well. So I miss Japan. I left when I was 19 and I'm 60, um, I'm a month shy of being 63. And I'd love to go back and see it again. So till next time, have a good one.